My name's Arlene, once again, and this time I'm going to show you how to do artful sectors from the National 5 curriculum as well as the GCSE curriculum. So, um, a lot of people find this a bit difficult, but what you really should think about is stuff you learned earlier on about area of a circle and circumference of a circle. So when you were getting the area of a circle, area was just pi r squared. And when you were getting the circumference of a circle, it was pi d. Well, still is pi d. Now, if you've got the best way to think about arcs and sectors is imagine you've got a pizza, and everyone knows in a whole circle there's 360 degrees. So if you were starting here, going all the way around, there's 360 degrees in the whole circle and the whole pizza. So if you had a pizza, but you were going to cut it into 360 equal pieces, so it'd be very difficult to draw, but it would be like this going all the way around and it'd be 360 of them. They look a bit too big, but that's what they would be. And if we imagine getting the area of the full pizza, first of all, so pi r squared, and then divide it by 360, that would allow me to see what the size of one of these bits would be. So each of these bits would be one degree. So say for instance that this was four, four inches here. So I suppose it would be like an eight inch pizza. And I wanted to know the size of one degree. So what I would be doing would I be doing um, pi times four squared and then dividing it by 360 just to get the size of one degree. Now you might be asking why why would you want to do that? Well the reason you would want to do that is if you know what one degree is you can then get any degree that you're being asked to get. So usually an arts and sectors question has a segment like this. So it might be that it's four centimetres there instead of four inches um, and maybe 62 degrees here. So what you would be doing is pi r squared, so pi times four centimetres squared and dividing by 360 to get the one degree, but then times it by that angle and that will get you the area of that full sector. So pi r squared to get the full thing, divide by 360 to get the area that's in one degree and then times it by the angle to work out this, this seg segment that you're trying to get. Now this works for the length of arc and the area of sector. So if you've got the circumference, if you're working out the circumference, normally you just do pi d. But if we want to know the, say it was just a little bit like one degree there, you would do pi d or pi times 8. Divide it by 360 to get one degree, the, the, the length of the arc, one degree. And then just times it by the angle you want. So in this instance here, it's 62. Now I'm going to put this into a better context, I'm going to use some examples. Just, just to reiterate there, the area of a sector is the full, if you imagine get the full circle first of all, the area of the full circle, divide it by 360 to get the area of one degree, and then once you've got that answer, you just times it by the angle that you've got, that you need to find out. Okay, we'll use some examples. Okay, so what we've got here is we've got two examples. Now these are probably the easier examples, shall we say. Um, we've got one here where it asks us to find the area of the sector above. And we've got one here when it asks us to find the length of the arc above. So we're just go we'll talk through quickly what we said before, but we'll use the formulas because the formulas is the best way. So to get the area of the sector above, we imagine we're getting the area of the whole circle Divide it by 360 to get the area of 1 degree and then times it by the angle. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write out that formula up there. So area equals pi r squared divided by 360 times angle. So that's the formula I'm going to be using. So it's area I'm trying to find. So it's pi times, so the radius in this one is 5, pi squared divided by 360 
times 31. So the area is, so pi times 5 squared divided by 3, that is divided by 360, is 0 0.218. If I times that by 31, I end up with 6.8 centimetres to one decimal place. So that's the area of this bit inside. I'm going to do this question here. It's the, the length of the arc. So it's like the pi d. So it's the idea that you get the circumference of the whole circle divide by 360 to get what the length would be at one degree and then just times it by the angle. So I'm using this formula here. So it's length equals pi d over 360 times angle. So the diameter in this instance is going to be 22 because the radius is 11. So it's pi times 22 divided by 360 and times it by 155. So what we find here is that this bit here becomes 0 0.192. When we times it by 155 degrees, we end up with 29.8 centimetres. So that's the length of the arc here. So these are probably easier ones. We're going to show the next set where you've actually got to find the angle. So you're, you're being given, if you like, the answer. You're being given the area or the length of the arc, but you've got to work backwards to get the angle. So that's what we're going to do next. Okay, so this time, this is the more difficult ones. And I think people panic a bit, but there really isn't any need. This one here is basically given as a drawing here and we've got the area, we already know what the area of the sector is. So this is a formula we're going to be using. We're going to be using this formula. We've already got the area. It's also given as a radius. It's the angle that we're trying to work out. So I'm just going to write out this formula here. Area equals pi r squared divided by 360 times angle. The information I've got here is the area, so I'm going to write that in. Um, I'm not worried right now about writing the centimetres squared. The, we've already got the radius, so we've got 9, so I'm going to say pi times 9 squared over 360 times the angle. 50 is equal to... 0 0.705 times angle and all I need to do to get the angle on its own is do 50 divided by this so to get the angle what I actually so yeah I get that and the angle is 70.7 degrees so it's a wee bit higher up but that's our answer there this one here is it's it's given us here the length going round the outside. So we've got the length of the arc, but what we're trying to get is the angle. So I'm going to use this formula here. So length equals pi d over 360 times angle. The length we've got going round is 43. So 43 equals pi times, now the diameter, if the radius is 10, the diameter is going to be 20. My writing gets progressively messier. Um, and what we have here, this bit here works out at 0 0.17 dot 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 times angle. And to get the angle, all I do is 43 divided by this bit here, which gives me the answer of 
I'll move it right up here. 246.4 degrees. So this is the answer to this one here. Now, whenever you're doing these questions, quite often there'll be more wording in them than the ones we've used. The Sometimes people are confused which formula they use. If you hear area being talked about, you know it's going to be this one. If you hear the length of the arc we mentioned, use this one here. And you're just going to plug, I would always write out whatever formula it is first of all. So write out the formula you're going to use and then just plug in the information accordingly. So I hope that's been useful. I hope that's been useful. Um, please like, please subscribe. If you've been watching these videos, I've got several more. Um, hopefully it helps you with exams. Please like, please subscribe and I'll see you soon. Bye.